Today I'm going to review the Twilight Zone, the original Twilight Zone from the 1960s onwards. This episode's entitled 2, was broadcast in 1961 and it's interesting because it stars two really popular actors. Charles Bronson plays the man and Elizabeth Montgomery plays the woman. There was even a, a radio adaptation of this story. It uh, starred Don Johnson as the man. So anyway, we get the traditional opening from Rod Serlin. He's good him. I, I like him as like a horror host sort of thing. He always pops up at the beginning and the end of the story. His voiceover. Yeah, hey, that bloody Rod Serlin. He was a right bloody spooky bugger. Another good thing about the Twilight Zone is it, it always seems to bring out good actors. Um tends to be like before they were famous a lot of the time and this episode's a good example. You won't get anyone like Charles Bronson uh, starring in a new uh, TV show so they got him before he was actually famous which is a stroke of luck. Charles Bronson's the guy who did all the Death Wish films and he, he also made a lot of other good films as well not just Death Wish films. Hey I bloody love them Death Wish films! Get the buggers reviewed Phil! And Elizabeth Montgomery was Samantha in Bewitched. This was before she played that. They both look really young in this. I was surprised when I, I checked out how old they were. I thought they'd be younger than what they were. I think she's about 27. She, she looks like a teenager in this. And uh, he's about 40. I thought he was younger than that. He looks about in his 20s. So I was surprised by the age of them both. So in this story there's been like a, a battle, a war. They're both survivors but on different sides. So when they say each other, they have a fight, they attack each other. So the very first scene, um, he, he flattens her, punches her, knocks her out. But he feels sorry for her afterwards and gives her some food. And the story's sort of like uh, focused on them two. Are they going to get friends or are they going to kill each other? It sort of like uh, represents the battle of the sexes sort of thing. Men versus women. They, they even have different languages in this episode. So it's like saying that uh, men can't understand women and women can't understand men. Also in this story, it, it took us by surprise because in one scene, the woman uh, says all these posters are propaganda and it like triggers off um, so like a conditioning in her and she, she gets a rifle and tries to shoot the man and you expect normal bullets to come out of the gun but it really took us by surprise. It's like a, a laser beam effect. And they, they, they used the sound of the laser beam from the film Forbidden Planet. I was surprised so it sort of like really this episode's like in the future. I thought it was kind of in the past but it, it isn't because of the laser beam effect. What I like about the Twilight Zone is the black and white photography. It, it always looks good. This show kind of looks more like film. So like you're watching sort of like a film sort of uh, effect. Instead of like TV show. And there's good music in this episode as well. With it not relying on a lot of dialogue. They have to use a lot of good music. And it's really effective. And this episode it's all about the characters. You want them both to um, get friends. Because you say what they're going through and all that. And you kind of get sympathy for both of them. Because it's not really their fault that they were put into this war. So you want them to be friends at the finish and at the finish they do become friends. There's a good saying where she's wanting this dress in the shop window. She keeps looking at it all the time. And at the finish he just goes in and <laughs> gets it and throws it at her. And he's wanting her to put, put the dress on all the time. He all that bloody effort to get her into that dress. I'd be trying to get the bugger out of the dress. <laughs> the same with the propaganda posters. It's really clever about conditioning people into fighting in wars. 
the the do uh, kind of propaganda still, but with news footage and stuff like mainstream news and that, sort of like um, drums it into people's heads the, the the narrative of a certain news story. So they still use yeah, it even to this day propaganda. It's a really good episode this. Um, it's a good example of how like a little short story because I think they're only about 25 minutes. They can be like deep. You can like say a lot more into it than just say like an episode of The Outer Limits where it's just like your monster sort of story. Whereas The Twilight Zone did sort of like um, moralistic type of stories about the human condition. And you can sort of like, I, I prefer them because the, the more deeper and you can get more enjoyment out of them. <laughs> I thought it was bloody great. They don't make TV shows like that anymore. All it is now is a pile of bloody walk. Okay, everybody, bye. See you next time. Bye.